Telling you about the big plans for Pittsburgh International Airport, a $1.1 billion transformation that includes a new terminal. However, it does not include a movie theater. But <laughs> did you know, back in the day, there was actually a movie theater at the old Greater Pitt Airport. So today, we're taking a look back to a different time when people catching a flight could also catch a film. The year was 1952 and Pittsburgh was celebrating a brand new airport. Greater Pitt opened with some memorable features, an observation deck to watch planes come and go, and the horizon room where you could dine with a view. Proms and other events were held there. People used to come up because you had a great view of the airfield. There's now a small exhibit in our current airport to remember old Greater Pitt and what made it unique. We were one of the first airports in the world to have a movie theater in it. That's right, he said movie theater. I was delighted when they put one in the farthest end of the airport. Retired film and theater critic Ed Blank remembers it. He says movies ran continuously, so you could pop in and out as you waited for a flight. We used to not worry so much about getting there in the beginning. You'd simply see to that point, and then you'd say, this is where I came in, and you'd leave. They weren't first-run films, but recent ones. Ed remembers going there for a double feature of two Alfred Hitchcock movies, The Bird But there was a major problem. Hearing these uh, planes coming in and taking off all the time. Throughout said, the movie, you're hearing oh, the planes. It's continuous. We're right there. Despite that, the theater continued at least until the late 70s. So with big plans for a new terminal at Pittsburgh International, is there any chance of bringing it back? We don't ever want to rule anything out, but at this time, right now, we're not planning a movie theater in the new terminal. Ports in Asia do have theaters. Times have changed. All the connecting flights Pittsburgh used to have simply don't exist. And that's not all. With the advent of technology, you know, people live stream on their phones, on their iPads, on their laptops. They can stream it right at the gate. And while Ed liked the idea of an airport theater, he admits. In retrospect, I'm kind of surprised it was in there as long as it was. I do think it's a neat idea, but the sound of planes, you'd have to, nowadays if you had it, you'd have to insulate it somehow. Well, and think about how many people missed their flights because they were watching Because they were Alfred too enthralled in the movie, yes. <laughs> and some people didn't even have connecting flights, but they still went to the theater. They drove out to the airport to see a movie. Of course, they had to pay for parking that way. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we want to tell you, uh, tell, uh, want you to tell us of what story that you would like to see next. Go to PittsburghTodayLive.com and vote. Do you want to know about the tunnel connected to the basement of a local bed and breakfast? Was it part of the Underground Railroad? Was it used during Prohibition? Or do you want to know the story behind a Pittsburgh landmark? The iconic tower at Carnegie Mellon has a history that actually might surprise you. So again, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com and vote. Let us know which story you'd rather see us do, and we'll have it for you on our next You Wanted to Know segment on PTL and also on Your Pittsburgh. I know which one I want to see, but I'm not going to say anything. Okay, keep it a secret. Mom's you can story. tell me during the commercial break. Okay.